Hello. Hello. Hi, James. Hi. Are you right? Huh? Are, are you, wh where are you? I'd rather not say. Anyone? Hi. Hi, yes, sorry. Um, sorry, but that's my pen. Yeah, the, the one in your hand, it's actually mine. No, you can tell because I've like nibbled the top. Y yeah, the top. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. It's just, it's just I saw you with that pen and I got a bit confused because the last time I saw it, it was in my room. So. <laughs> Do you feel like we've been a bit distant recently? Yeah, because cause I've been thinking that. Because we haven't really been talking recently. And, and I get it, you probably don't want to talk to me and, that, and that's fine. But uh, it's a weird time and... And if we don't have each other, then we don't have anything. Right? You think I've changed? Well, maybe I have. You, you know, change, change can be a good thing. It's not always a bad thing. I feel like I'm always changing. Like a river. You know, how a river is always changing. You can't step in the same river twice and, and all that. You're not like that though. You're always the same. Like a pond. You're a bit like a pond. Oh, that's upset you, has it? <laughs> okay then, well if you don't want to talk to me, you don't have to. I'll just go. You know what? No, I, I don't want to argue with you. I don't. Do you think this is what I want? Do you think this is what she would have wanted? Her girls. Arguing. Look, if you can't do it for me, then can you do it for Mum? Okay, fine, I'll just leave you alone then. Uh, but actually, can I have my... My pants. So, yeah, thanks. Right, there was orders of an idea then. I was left at 20 past one on a Monday. Who was asking him? You'd be on dinner break by now. I just go on for what? So, I like to stare at myself in splendid isolation, you know, but also really connected to, to everything. 
it's a paradox i know isolated connection but it gives me a strange calm and i feel great Whoa, I'm so in touch with my emotions right now. Oh my God, don't look away. I've been staring at myself for so long. I can't even see myself. And I'm not a narcissist, I'm not, I'm above that. No, now I truly see myself, all my flaws, all my possibilities. Not being strong enough to act on impulse. That's what makes you attractive, see? Acting on impulse. Before I started doing this, I was always so worried about what others thought or what I thought they thought about me always having to explain myself. I don't get, I don't get it. You, you literally make no sense. Say it again. You found my address where? Said to Tima, ding the deed you on. <laughs> I tried so hard to please them. And then when I act spontaneously and surprise them, they get aggressive. Well, look where they are now. No, figuratively. Look where they are now. Exactly. You came out on top. They came out. Keep staring. This is working. I don't know, but I'm starving. I've got a banana if you want that. Yeah, alright then. Here you go. Ooh. I'm only have a little bit though. Okay. She just does my head in sometimes. She say, "Ask us how to back." I'm free that having gatra. Can hear the van we and say soon. Right you are. Diolch cariad. Busy on day. And I can't exactly turn around and tell her that it's only seven o'clock in the morning and that she hasn't long woken up or even had breakfast yet, can I? No. Of course not. And she's naked. Let's get you dressed first, shall we? Of course, she says. And then, let's get sort of back. I'm free that living after. And it's not just her. It's not. They all want something. Opening doors they shouldn't. Singing to themselves. Needing the toilet every five minutes. Flying into a rage, then giggling like a kid. Demanding stuff, you know? Football on the telly for Brian. The biscuits are none made for Laura. Pictures of families they can't even see anymore on the bedside tables. Faces they don't know or recognise. And even when we set up Skype or FaceTime or whatever else this crap internet here can stand. But the Van Wee. The Van Wee just wants me all the time. It's hard, that's all I'm saying. Especially now. I'm tired. I'm so, so tired. So when Mavanwi calls me in for the 300th time, I try and ignore her. No, <laughs> I can't come home. You know I'm missing you and Dad and even Kev, you know he's an idiot. <laughs> okay, well, maybe not Kev so much, but... 
but the last thing I want to do is have another conversation with Mavan Wee about breakfast. But of course I go in. I couldn't not. And she gets me to sit next to her. She asks me to sing her a lullaby. I don't sing, I tell her. Please, ma'am, she says. You know, even with the mask on and the gloves and everything, she still thinks that I'm... So I sing. It's not good. I only sing in the shower, but I sing something that I can barely remember from when I was little. Something he used to sing to me. I don't know why, but it was on the tip of my tongue. And Mavanwi looks at me. He takes my rubber gloved hand and smiles. and everything else just melts away I hold her hand and I stroke her hair and I am her man even if it's just for one moment and there is peace And then she asks when she's going home. Can hear your family. Soon. James. James. Mate, you're right. I was so close then. Hey. So, um, I've been thinking. About the future and us and our future. Everything's up in the air at the moment, right? With, with work and, and family and everything else. It, it's been crazy. But what if we have the opportunity to get away from all that? We could be alone. We could be Well, and I know you've been trying to avoid me, but all I've been trying to do is to surprise you. So, surprise! <laughs> We're going to be going away, going on holiday, just the two of us, have some fun. Somewhere here, beautiful and, and peaceful, and you can see the sun coming over the trees. I, I've got it all worked out, I promise. And when we get there... Maybe I could untie you. I could take off the gag. You could lay beside me. Spoon. And I could feel you next to me. But not until I know that you won't leave me again. Okay? Because we're going to be together. We're going to be happy. We are going to be so happy.
magical word that makes perfect sense and fixes everything. I just need some distance. I'm like, distance? Have you even met me? I am the most distant person there is. I mean, I never answer my phone. I either text too much or not at all. And emails, chuff and forget it, mate. He says, no, I mean, real distance between us. I'm like, all right. We live a mile apart. And I'm not exactly in any position to move, am I? And a mile, that's a solid 10, 15 minute walk, mate. Now he's getting frustrated. No, I mean, I think that maybe we need to be apart just for a bit. You know how it is. There's me and then there's you. We're not exactly of the same branch, are we? What are you going on about trees for now? I just mean, maybe we should go on a break like in your television programme, Friends. Great. Now all I'm thinking about is Monica and how her hair gets frizzy in humid weather and that's just like me when I went to Spain and I followed that Spanish couple because one of them looked a bit like Mila Kunis because whoa, Mila Kunis. And then it clicks. He's breaking up with me. He is breaking up with me. And all because he's from a different branch like he's Goldman Sachs and I'm Credit Union. Who does he think he is? And where's he got this idea that there's an us anyway? I thought we were just something casual. We could have seen other people. I certainly did. Looks like he didn't. Probably because no one else could chuff and stand him. That's not my fault though, is it? And now he stood there doing this whole making it seem like he's breaking my heart routine. Being all noble and sincere. Letting me down gently. Looking at me with his stupid, concerned face. Patting me on the shoulder and pissing me. All because he's just such a good catch and now he's suddenly decided that we can no longer be together. I hope we can still be friends. Flash of Rachel with a fantastic hair this time. He actually thinks I'm obsessed with him. I bet he's gone and told all of his mates that I'm going to be so devastated. And now he's stood there looking at me with this proper cheese ball made in Chelsea grin and he says to keep my chin up. Well, that's what I tell him. He can keep his Pizza Express vouchers and his craft beer that I just have to try and his box sets of entourage and his passive aggressive compliments. That's an interesting look for you. And he can sod off. Because I've got a tub of Tesco's finest mint choc chip ice cream in the freezer. And a takeaway on the way. And the delivery driver is even more for than Spanish me lacunis. So I look at him and say, I really hope that we're not friends. And slam the door in his stupid gawping shoe of a face. And I can feel Monica, Rachel and Phoebe salute me. Hey, you right? I can't, I can't hear you. I can't, turn your mic on. Turn your mic on. Press the button. The, the mic, the mic, the microphone button. Is that the bottom, is that the bottom? I wish I was up there. I imagine us lying on them, floating together. Like we used to. Lying on our backs, staring up at the sky, seeing shapes in the white fluff. Cloud busting. I really miss you. I miss your beautiful smile. You in front of me, crystal clear. No pain. No hate. I want it to just be me and you again. Holding hands. The touch of your skin against mine. To look deep inside your eyes and wonder what's going on inside your head. 
as you point at the galloping horses in the sky, your faces in the blue. I see you now. By my bedside. All those tubes going into me, helping me breathe. I had to do it. I had no choice. I'm your soulmate, not Alex. You don't even know that I was drunk yet, that I lost control, that I didn't even feel anything when the car hit the wall. I know I've hurt you too. All I wanted was for you to feel the same about me that you did about Alex. The way you used to feel about me when we used to watch the clouds float by. And my body may be down here now, next to you. But I'm above now, in the clouds. I wish I could try and jump down, explain, say sorry. But I can't. I'm rising higher and higher and you're getting smaller and smaller. I hope you can look up and think that you see me in the clouds. But now, all I can see is blue sky. Funny story, right? I have worn these joggers for three weeks now. Yeah, well, there's no stains in them, so they're all right. I just, I don't understand the pressure of constantly having to wash your clothes. As I always like to say, if it's not covered in muck, then on I chuck. Yeah, I, I don't say that. That would be weird. But the point still stands. I just think it's a waste of money constantly having to wash your clothes. Well, think about it, you've got to pay for the pods, the fabric softener, the colour catchers, the electric for the washing machine, the clothes. And all that comes with the risk, you might wreck something. I mean, you spend £40 on a nice shirt and then after one wash it looks like it was custom tailored for Jimmy Cranky and that's not a risk I'm willing to take. I've just, I've got other stuff I'd rather worry about. <laughs> this is the um this is the first time I've been on my own in a while. It's just I don't think I'm very good at looking after myself. I've never had to be self-sufficient before, so I'm just I'm playing it off like I don't care. But um I do. So what else is there to do but uh, sit around doing nothing in my might be permanently attached to me tracksuit bottoms. Not that it's an issue. I quite enjoy doing nothing. Alone. In silence. Self-loathing. But, well, you know what they say. Everyone's a critic. You definitely were. God, if you were here now, you would say, you're dreadful. And you've got smelly trousers. I just think when you miss someone, you get this tingly feeling that is sort of the opposite to the tingles you felt when everything was good. They're bad tingles. And they just feel like... Um, You know. Oh, come on. God. Right.
Hey. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah. Hey, funny story. I have worn these joggers for three weeks now. Well, there's no stains in them, so they're all right. cover your shift but I can't she says because Kaylee from up the road you know Kaylee do you do you know Kaylee tattoo on her neck always eating what sits she had a bit of trouble with her mam well you know her mam shop mobility scooter she won't go into the shop because she's afraid of germs yeah, she's afraid of germs yeah. anyway so Kaylee can't come in either so she's got cover for her instead is fine i know it's understandable though what's going on it doesn't help me though does it i still got bills to pay not like i got anyone to help me out or lie on and present company excluded are they in a fortune at the moment though i might check Fifth shift this week. I still can't make enough to keep you with milk. Tell you be gone next. And anything on the HP. Micro cooker. It's not like I'm not trying, is it? I'm trying my bastard hardest. Oopsie. Excuse the French. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going, going to... I can't see the light at the end of the thingy. So. Okay. Who am I kidding? We're going to have to move out. I don't. Don't. It'll only be for a bit. Freya, you know Freya? You know, one with the eyebrow. She used to work in Matland before it got flooded. She said she'd put us up. So we can be together. And he still won't find you. I'll make sure of it. It's a cut. Ooh. my daughter. Hello Julie, happy birthday. I've always wanted to call you that, Julie. Your mother was not so keen though, so... Uh. 
So, I've sent you a time capsule. Very Blue Peter, I know. I hope you like it. But I've realised it's a father's duty to equip his child for the long road ahead. So, please, enjoy the complete works of Sophocles, Collector's Edition, and Humanities and Law 3 Deluxe Edition Hardback. You're welcome. Now, fathers should not spoil their children. Mine definitely didn't. But I did get you a special something. Pepper spray! I've also sent you a picture of me. Now, yes, it's the best I can do without being there myself. I really wish I could be there, but I can't. I'm sure you've been told things about me. I promise, I thought I was doing what was best for the country. So, yes, I voted for the borders to be closed. To combat the people that were taking what we had for free. And yes, I made sure we taxed the poor in a bid to separate the lazy from the hardworking. And I allowed the guns in our homes and on our streets. I did not want to start conflict. I wanted to end it. And after all that, I thought my dad would be proud. He wasn't. So, I want you to... You were never planned for. Your mother and I... It was a one-week fling at some conference. She got pregnant. I denied you existed. But you do. You do. Oh, you really must think I am some kind of monster. I am. But whatever happens next, I want you to know. I'm proud of you. N and never for being like me, for being more like your mother. Just look at my picture sometimes and remember that I love I've got to go. Hello? Hello? Where is everybody?